Hello guys, David here with another BTEC. So I picked up my Honor View 20 just the other day, and since then I've been having a lot of fun playing around with its 48 megapixel camera. I feel like I need a little bit more time before I can give you my full verdict. So in this video, as well as showing you some of the sample shots that I've captured with this phone, I'm also going to go through the camera app so you know exactly what you're getting if you decide to pull the trigger on this one. A massive shout to Direct Mobiles for looking after us here at BTEC. They have over 24 years of award-winning customer service, which makes them an excellent choice if you're looking for a good deal on your next handset. Check down in the video description below for a link to their deals, or search directmobiles.co.uk. It's actually a unique camera system, and not just because of that huge megapixel cap. The View 20 is the first smartphone to incorporate a time-of-flight 3D sensor that can accurately determine the distance of objects and surfaces away from the camera. This is instead of the more traditional depth sensor and should give more accurate depth information for better depth of field shots. A time of flight sensor will make its calculations and measurements based on the known speed of light. It uses an infrared beam to scan the scene and measure the minute differences in the speed of the reflected light beam. So for portrait shots, a traditional camera might get a little bit confused if it has objects of similar color but at varying distances. It's hard for it to pick out which one is closer and therefore how much blur to add to the scene. Time of flight sensor knows exactly where it is, so it should give a much more realistic graduation between the sharp and the blurry parts of the image. Cramming all those megapixels onto the sensor means that the pixel pitch is a little bit smaller than what you'd expect, at 0.8 microns. Nearly half the size of the industry leading standard from last year of 1.4 microns. But despite this, it is claimed that the V20 has excellent low light performance. And its large half inch sensor does seem to do the trick. In fact, my early impressions are that the performance is pretty stunning all round. Those 48 megapixel shots are incredibly detailed, so make sure you're subbed to BTEC and double tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on my full camera review. So let's open up the camera app and have a look through. And as you'd expect, default mode is photo, and in this mode, you have the usual Honor Stroke Huawei camera tools, such as the translator, QR code, barcode scanner, and shopping. There's also the flash toggle, and then next to that you'll find the moving pictures. Turn this on to animate your photos and it will record a few frames before you take the shot. The AI switch is next to that. And finally at the top you have the settings cog. It's worth noting that by default the resolution is set to 12 megapixels. So if you want to shoot at 48 you have to go into the settings to turn it up. The main shooting modes are as well as photo, portrait mode which gives you the usual beautifying and stage lighting effects. Next to that is night mode, which will give you a nice sharp clean shot even in extremely poor lighting conditions. This can also be done handheld and will usually take between about 4 or 6 seconds to produce an exposure. Next to that is where you would usually find an aperture mode on Honor devices, but instead we have the AR lens. This is where you'll find the 3D emojis, which lets you record a message as one of these characters. They have included some that I haven't seen from previous phones, which is nice. Aperture mode is here but it can be found under the more tab and gives you the usual simulated aperture between f16 and f.95. Video can be shot in this mode as well. In fact you find all the shooting modes that you would expect to see in a flagship device of this kind including the light painting mode and 3D panorama as well as super slow motion which allows for short bursts of video at up to 960 frames per second. There's also the fantastic artist mode which I first saw on the Huawei Mate 20 Lite but it didn't make it into the pro version for some reason but I really enjoyed using it. It's just a really cool set of creative filters and it's just executed so well. The front camera's numbers are also big. It's a 25 megapixel sensor within that screen cutout with an f2.0 lens and 1080p video recorded at 30 frames per second. It's also possible to record video with the front camera in full HD plus resolution at 1080 by 2304 but there's no stabilizer when you're recording this resolution. The 4K video looks stunning and it's shot at 30 frames per second. You also get some video effects, although they can only be used in 1080p. You get the same effects that we've seen with the Mate 20 Pro, such as the AI color and the background blur. After a recent update, it's now able to perform an AI clarity shot, a 48 megapixel shot which takes multiple exposures and combines the pixels to give you an ultra high resolution image. Similar in practice to the night mode, where you're asked to hold the camera still for a few seconds while it takes a few shots and combines them. This update is literally just come in as I was about to publish my video. So once I've had a bit of time with it, I'll report back again. 
Some people are saying that this is a prelude to the P30, which is just around the corner. And I'll get my first look at that in February at MWC in Barcelona. But I think that trying to compare this with its multi-lens cousins is a little bit unfair. Well, unfair is probably not the right word, but unlike the Mate 20 Pro and the P20 Pro, the View 20 is shooting at its highest resolution all the time. When you're using a P20 Pro or the Mate 20 Pro, the best shots are taken at 10 megapixels. I very rarely would switch to the 40 megapixel lens. So it's really nice to be able to confidently shoot at 48 megapixels with the View 20 and knowing that you're gonna get the best out of it. But like I said before, more time is needed before I can give you the full verdict. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, double tap the notification bell and smash the like button for me. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget that all of my sample shots will be available for download on my new channel BTEC Samples so you can download the full 48 megapixel images and check out the quality for yourself. My name's David and this is BTEC.